What's going on everybody? Chase here on Aftershock Videos for everything music, Yu-Gi-Oh! and gaming. And today, it's going to be a very unique deck, because not a lot of people play this. I have not seen a lot of deck profiles about this, but today I'm going to show you my 2021 deck profile for the 10 Yees. So let's go ahead and get into the deck. Okay, so getting right into it, we're going to start off with our 10 Yee Spirits, which are the sort of the main mon main cards of the deck. Run triple copies of Tenyi Spirit Ashuna. Now I will say, all of the Tenyi Spirits can be special summoned if you control no effect monsters. So keep that in mind. Now, as far as Ashuna goes, um, the secondary effect is if you control a face-up non-effect monster, uh, you can banish this card from your hand or your graveyard. Special summon one Tenyi monster from your deck except itself. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except worm monsters. Which is fine, because... That's more majority of what you're going to be going for. Now we're going to be doing triple copies of Tenyi Spirit Bashuda. Again, it can be special summon when you control no effect monsters. And its secondary effect is if you control a face-up non-effect monster, you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls and return it to the hand. So this is good, pretty good removal. So triple copies of those. Next... Triple copies of Tenyi Spirit, Shnata, Shithana, sorry. Can be special summoned if you control no effect monsters. And secondary effect is if you, if a face-up non-effect monster, monsters you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard, then target one of those destroyed monsters and special summon it. Then you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. Sorry about my cat. So triple copies of those. Now you want to run also triple copies of Tenyi Spirit, Nahada. Can be special summoned if you control no effect monsters. And the secondary effect is when an attack is declared involving your face-up non-effect monsters and an opponent's face-up monster. Uh, you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard. That opponent's monster loses 1500 attack until the end of this turn. So you want to run three of those. Next, got triple copies of Tenyi Spirit, Mapura. Can be special summoned without no effect monsters. Or, sorry, can be a, if you control no effect monsters, you can special summon it. Secondary effect when your opponent activates a card. Thank you. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a face up non effect monster you control. Um, quick effect you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. So, very, very nice negation. Next, we got two double copies of Tenyi Spirit Adhara. Once again, can be special summoned if you control no effect monsters and secondary effect. If you control a face up non effect monster, you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard, then target one of your banished worm monsters, except this card, and add it to your hand. So it's very, you could run triple copies of this if you want. I only had two, so I think two is obviously necessary because that's what I'm playing. So double copies of those. Next, we're going to go into the non Tenyi monsters. So we'll go ahead and go into the hand traps. Running double copies of Ash Blossom. One Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. And then double copies of Effect Veiler. Next, just to throw it in there for a non effect monster, plus it's a tuner, got one Angel Trumpeter. And then two copies of Mare Mare. Now this is a worm and a tuner. It's a level 7. So if you get a level 1 out, you can go into your synchros. Or use them for your, your link offs. But this says, cannot be special summoned except by the effect of a worm type monster. Which there will be when you add, when you special summon from the deck. You could bring out a worm monster. Uh, during your main phase, you can reduce this card's level by 1. And if you do, special summon one mini Mare Mare token. Uh, worm type effect or water level one attack 300 defense 200 you can only use this effect of memory up to thrice per turn so these are good for your synchros all right next we're gonna get into this the spells obviously for the tenyes you want triple copies of flawless protection of the tenyi it's a field spell and it reads all non-effect monsters on the field are unaffected by your monster by monster effects once per turn, if your opponent can, if your if your opponent special summons an effect monster while you control, 
a face down monster or non effect monster. During the damage step, you can draw two cards. So triple copies of that. Next, we also got triple copies of Vessel for the Dragon Cycle. And it reads, it's a normal spell. It reads, send one more monster from your deck to your graveyard. Then, if you control a face-up non-effect monster, you can add from your deck to your hand one tiny monster with a different name from the monster sent to the graveyard. And you'll activate one per turn. So triple copies of those. Okay. Got double copies of Fist of the Unrivaled Tenyi. It's a counter trap, and it reads, When a spell trap card or monster effect is activated while you control a face-up non-effect monster, negate the activation. If this set card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you can special summon one non-effect monster from your extra deck. So, that is fantastic. So you run double, or you can run triple copies of that. Next, going into the one-ofs for the spells. Running a single Swords of Revealing Light. Just to help you, if you're running into trouble, just to help you start building your board. One enemy controller, in case you need a monster to sink off or just to stop an attack. One monster reborn. You know what that does. One terraforming to get to that flawless protection. A foolish burial, in case you're planning ahead and you need uh, need the banishing effect of one of the tiny spirits. One called by the grave to deal with hand trap shenanigans. One wave motion cannon. Now, I threw this in there just in case you get this and the Swords of Revealing Light in the same uh, hand. So that way you can get in for some extra damage, extra life point damage. And one spellbook organization. Now, this is just to kind of help with your hand. Um, this says, look at the top three cards of your deck, then return them to the top of the deck in any order. So, I think that's very helpful. It's a quick play spell. Should be fun. Next, getting the extra deck. We got one Link Karibo, one Link Spider, to help you get the your uh, Angel Trumpeter out. One Lanforincus, just because it's a non-effect and it's only a Link Two. Triple copies of Monk of the Tenyi. You'll see how how these come in play, but they're only Link One, so it's totally perfect. Got double copies of, sound like someone was breaking in. Double copies of Shaman of the Tenyi. It's a link to, it requires two worm monsters, and it says you can discard one card, then target one worm monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Also for the, oops, sorry. Also for the rest of this turn, you cannot activate effect monsters. Uh, special summon from the extra deck, except Tenyi monsters. When an attack is declared involving your face up non effect monster, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. So that's pretty good. Next. We have a single copy of Draco, Masters of the Tenyi. It's a Link 3 with 2600 attack. It needs two monsters, including two plus monsters, including a Link monster, which is not that hard to, to make once I show you guys. It says, cannot be destroyed by battle with an effect monster. If you control no other effect monsters, you can destroy effect monsters your opponent controls up to the number of non-effect monsters you control and or in your graveyard. And you can only use that once per turn. Completely awesome. Now... For your other Link 3 with a 3,000 attack, you got your Berserker of the Tenyi. It requires two plus monsters, including a Link. You got one copy of Tenyi Spirit, Sahasarara, however, however you say that. And it's a Link 4, requires two plus worm monsters. While you control a face up, non effect monster, uh, monsters your opponent controls cannot target effect monsters for attack. Also, your opponent cannot target effect monsters on the field with card effects. Quick effect, you can target one effect monster. Your opponent controls special summon one Tenny Spirit token. And this token's attack becomes that targeted monster's original attack. So that is pretty cool. Now lastly, we're getting into the synchros. And I think this, these are not the best, but I think they, they play off pretty good with what the deck does. Uh, Metaphys Horus. It only requires, it's a level 6, so it's not that hard to make. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. Um, if this card is Synchro Summon, you can activate the appropriate effects depending on the non-tuner monsters used for Synchro. If it's normal monsters, you can uh, this face-up card is unaffected by other card effects. Uh, effect monster, you can target one face-up card on the field, negate that target's effects. And then we're not using Plane Pendulum, so the last effect does not matter. Next, we have a single copy of Yazil, or Yazi, Evil of the Yingyang, Yingzing. 
Yazi, Evil of the Yang Zing. Finally got it. Now this is a level 7, and it requires one tuner plus one or more non-tuners. Uh, cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effects. Also, for the for each of these effects, uh, you can use once per turn. You can target one Yang Zing monster you control, and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. So it's kind of a kamikaze one for one. Or, when this card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect you can s and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one worn type monster from your deck in defense position, which plays in with the Mare Mare. Next, and lastly, we have Draco, Berserker of the Ten Yi. This is a beast. It's a level 8. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. When your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can banish it. If this attack aim card destroys an effect monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, this card gains attack equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. Also, it can make a second attack on a monster during its battle phase. You can only use each of these effects once per turn, so every time you attack with this thing, it just keeps getting stronger and stronger, and you get to banish. Alright, so there you have it for the deck profile. Let's go ahead and get into the dueling. Okay, so before we get into the dueling nexus, I have to give a shout out to my buddy Jacob who hooked me up with that sweet Dragon Ball Z playmat. So Jake, if you're watching this, I appreciate you, love you, and thank you for hooking me up with that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into the dueling nexus. We're going to go against an AI bot so we don't have to wait for decision making or inter have to worry about internet interruptions. So, And the decks are always random, so let's just go ahead and go into it. Give you guys an example of how the deck works. We'll go ahead and go first, just because we can. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and activate the Vessel of the Dragon Cycle. We get to dump one and then add one to our hand, I believe, right? Uh, well, that's if we control that, so I should have went that second. So we're going to go ahead and dump... Uh, dump Mahata. And we can activate... Special Summon. Get a Tenyi Monk out. Activate. Special Summon Self. Defense. Uh, we'll activate. We'll set that. Now we can go into... We can go into the... What's that? A shaman. Or right, another Monk. Activate. Get another monster out. Let's go with Shooter. Oh, we only link one. So let's go ahead and summon the Effect Veiler. Then we can go into the Berserker. And then we can go into to the shaman so we'll set that up let's see how that plays out yeah here the waste of harpies feather duster on that whatever ah we have motion cannon let's just go ahead and battle Bam. And, and then you phase two. No, it's fine. And phase. Just synchron. Battle. Okay. Second turn on wave motion. Summon this. Special summon. Monk. Alright, whatever. Go to battle. Gains. Destroys. Alright. Okay, it's been two two turns. Uh, in case they have a trap or anything, let's just go ahead and activate a wave motion cannon. Nice a thousand. Ah. What are you doing? End phase. I could be 
deactivated. Okay, I believe we have it. Summon. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, it's a link too, that's why. Okay, why is everything lit up? I don't know. Let's go ahead and attack. There we go. And. Uh, okay, let's attack. That's dead. All right. Last turn, it's at 5,600. What are they gonna top deck? Turn phase. Alright, let's go ahead and get in Ash for attack, see if it affects anything. Okay, doesn't. Nothing? Nothing? Got it. Alright. So there you have it. Not a bad deck, like I said. It's not the best, but it's pretty flexible in what you can do. Plus, it has a lot of graveyard um, interaction, so. All right, boys and girls, that'll do it for this episode of Dueling Nexus Duels. Um, yeah, it's, deck's really fun, and it's pretty flexible. Not the best, not the worst, but if you're looking for something fun to play, something different that no one else is really playing, go ahead and try that out for yourself. Um, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments, and then like, give this video some love. Give it a like, subscribe if you want. It'd be, kind of, it'd be pretty cool. And um, just let me know what you guys thought. Um, if you guys are looking for anything in, in particular, cards-wise, in, in real life, uh, I do have a TCG player account. So if you're looking for any specific singles, go ahead and give me a give me a give me a holler on TCG. Um, I do upgrade um, anybody who messages me prior to their purchase. If you mention in aftershock videos, I will upgrade you to free priority shipping. I don't think it's a bad deal for just for just coming and saying hey. Um, so if you guys give me some give me some love, some like, comment, subscribe. I will appreciate it. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch it. So that'll do it for this episode, and I hope you guys stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.